you know what? I think it's time for an unboxing setup. I got my my actual phone set up right above my table. I found a little clamp outside, so I screwed it onto my mic arm, and it's conveniently holding my phone above my table here. This is my unboxing setup. Can move it up and down. Woohoo! Now I normally do Yu-Gi-Oh stuff on this channel, but I've kind of been getting into Magic the Gathering lately. And uh, here I have a, uh, a Planeswalker deck. I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks like it's probably mainly fire, I guess. Uh, Chandra Flames Fury. Can't wait to see what this, what's in it. Oh man. Card was just stuck. Oh, look at that. Oh, why isn't she beautiful? Let me try to get her on camera here. That is gorgeous. That's going to be the Planeswalker for the deck, obviously. She's got her own little, little box there. Box inside of a box. Who knew? Ooh, a paper kind of mat there. It says here, it comes with the deck box, which I just threw haphazardly over there, 60 card tabletop, and a 15 card booster pack. That's that's a lot of cards for a booster pack. Let's open, uh, let's open the booster pack first. I'm guessing there's going to be just randoms in here. Oh, that girl on the front right there, her name is Moo Yan Ling. I actually have a deck with her. That was my first, uh, first deck that I bought. Oh, there we go. It's where the cards face it. This way. Look at that. Blood Burglar. It was a vampire. Mmm. And the magic, uh, like in Yu-Gi-Oh, there's a whole bunch of archetypes. Like you'd have a vampire archetype or something, but these are called tribes. If you have a deck full of just vampire cards, they'd be good. It's called a tribal deck, apparently. Ooh, Memento Heroism, Befuddle. Whoa. Now that, that's a very good card right there. That's basically guaranteed kill. Ooh, Barony Vampire, another good one. Natural N. Oh, it's only, uh, it only takes three, three mana to cast. Hmm. Huh. That's not bad. Bone to Ash. Counter target creature or spell. Draw a card. That's pretty good. Attacking doesn't cause this creature to tap. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, it's just a... It's only a one attacking, but that's pretty good right there. It doesn't tap when you attack, which means you can block the next turn. Oh, that just taps for uh, any, any good color. That's pretty good. Ah, plus three, and plus two for each card named on this on the field, or in my graveyard. Uh, Gauntlets of Light, this guy, uh, he just looks like a fucking warrior. This guy would destroy a vampire in one punch. Ooh, get a life off of that. Shared summon, that's pretty good. Ooh, get one life plus you get either one. Or do you want some payments? Ooh, an elemental token. That is fucking gorgeous. Amazing. And immediately the first card that I see is a dragon. Dracar Seth Maul of Flames. Deals 4 damage to any target and 3 damage to each of up to 2 other targets. So he's going to be dealing at least 3 to 3 different targets. That's fucking amazing there. A couple sorceries. A Shivan dragon. Oh, so he just boosts him so he's going to be a... He's going to be hitting for 6.
Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I wonder if that's in the middle of a chain. He gets, uh, he gives himself plus three if a opponent is dealt damage that's not combat damage. I'm sure there's plenty of cards in here that can just burn. Deals one damage to the player or planeswalker it's attacking. That's not bad. A lot of Chandra I'm seeing right there. Ember Hauler, Sacrifice Ember Hauler, it deals two damage to any target. It's oh, pretty cool, I guess. Three of them, let's see, Pack Mystiff. Each creature you control named Pack Mystiff gets plus one until the end of turn. Ah, oh, so they boost each other up. Ooh, ooh, I got four of them. Another Spitfire. Scorch Spitter. Whenever Scorch Spitter attacks, it deals one damage to the player or Planeswalker is attacking. I think I already read that one. Ooh. Deals one damage. And he's a 5 4. That's, that's staying powder right there. Ah, another not bad one there. These elementals are pretty good. Oh, here's all the lands. That's a, that's a lot of lands. Wow, that's a lot of land. It's like the, the last bit or just instance. Let's see, deal 4 damage to target creature and 2 damage to that creature's controller. Uh, Infuriate target creature gets plus 3, plus 2 until end of turn. Probably for one of the dragons. Uh, target creature gets, okay, that's the same one. Shock deals 2 damage to any target. And 4 of them. Ah, oh, that's... It's actually a pretty good little haul there. And these are supposed to be already pre-built decks where, kind of like a structured deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! where you just, you know, you can add a card or two, but this is supposedly the, the chunk of the deck right here. But I am going to take this 60 card deck, add about 40 cards to it, and make what's known as commander deck, the 100 card deck. And I got card sleeves to put them in. <laughs> oh, that's going to be fun. Well, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys have a good one.